And Darius Leonard, linebacker for the Indianapolis Colts, is joining us now live to talk about all of this. Thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. First, I want to go back to how this all started at the Chipotle. You say that a manager told you that a white customer felt threatened by you. Did you have any interaction or conversation with that customer? Um, no. I, um, I mean, we walked in. Uh, we, we saw we saw the um, the white customer, but. No, we didn't even you know acknowledge that he was sitting there. Um, we we sat away from him, didn't say nothing to him. So I think that's why you know that's why this this story seems a little crazy because you know for someone to just go out and say something of that nature for absolutely no reason, you know, it's still still to me. I mean, it's very shocking and it's still um, unbelievable. And you said when the manager first raised the possibility of calling the police, you called it scary and that you started thinking about your wife and your child. What was going through your mind in that moment? Um, you know, once, you know, once he said anything uh, about the police, uh, the first thing that came to my mind was, you know, like a, my wife and, and my little girl. And I was like, well, you know, he's seeing all the things that's on social media of, you know, the police and everything. My first thought that came to my mind was, you know, I'm not making it back home to them. Mm. So, you know, it's it's crazy that um, you have to think like that now when, you know, something of that nature of something of the police or anything getting involved with an African-American. And it's, it's very scary, um, you know, just to even sit down and uh, think about, you know, leaving your house and making it back, um, making it back in one piece. And just to be clear here, you, you believe that you're a victim of discrimination and racism here, right? Yes, without a doubt. I mean, like it was a, a group of African-Americans sitting there, um, absolutely didn't say nothing to anyone that was outside. And for us to just, you know, get, you know, come up with the manager, the way he came, his tone, his demeanor and everything, you know, we felt like we was very very disrespected. Um, then he was like, you know, the white guy said that y'all verbally abused him. And we knew that we didn't say not one word to the guy. We didn't even, you know, look at the guy. Um, so, you know, we, we felt like that we was definitely racially profiled and, um, you know, very disrespected. Uh, Darius, quickly, because we're running out of time, but the manager at the Chipotle was suspended, and the CEO of Chipotle says that he reached out to you personally. What did he say to you? Um, he basically said all the things that he was supposed to say. Um, like I told the manager, uh, when I, I told the CEO, I'm like, you know, he told me he had three kids. I said, you know, talk to me as a father. Put, your, put one of your kids in my shoes. And then talk to me as a father i mean everything he was saying you know politically correct you know you we have zero tolerance of uh, discrimination this and that and i was like you know i'm not trying to hear that i want you to talk to me as a as a father and putting your putting your child in my shoes and then realize what i really just went through and then you know he basically said well yeah what you went through was a horrible thing and it, it sucks. It sucks, you know, talking to talking to the CEO because, you know, the only thing he was basically doing was uh, apologizing because he had to. And I'm like, yo, I don't I don't just want to apologize. You know, I want a step in the right direction to to show that Chipotle is not a, a racial racist or organization. I want to see more, you know, diverse things in the community, you know, stuff like that. Just something that can show that we're taking a step in the right direction. All right, Darius, thank you again for sharing your story and adding to this important conversation happening across the country right now. Thank you.